Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of those sweater dresses that look like you have sleeves tied at the waist. There are two versions I'm going to show you how to make. One of them has a turtleneck and the sleeves at the waist are a lot thicker and look more like actual sleeves. And the second one is a lot more casual and looks more like a t-shirt. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. I'm super excited to be working with them because one of my goals this year is to squeeze reading into my busy sewing life and with Audible, I'm able to listen to a book while I'm working on the next project and especially when I'm stuck seam ripping. You can use the link audible.com slash coollerpa or text coollerpa to 500, 500 for a free book and a 30 day free trial. Alright, let's get started. I bought two different rib knit fabrics from Joanne. I got a pink one that was really pretty, but there was only one yard left, which doesn't give me much to work with. And I got two yards of a gray colored knit that was also barely enough for me to make the turtleneck dress. If I were to do this all over again, I would have bought at least three to four yards of fabric just to be safe, and so that I could have made the dress a lot longer. The amount you need really depends on what size you need to make it in, so I recommend making a sample before going to the fabric store. I started with a one yard of pink fabric and placed it on fold. Then I drew out a very basic neckline and extended the shoulder seam into the sleeve. This is going to be a bat wing or kimono sleeve style top. If you're unsure about the size to make yours, you can always trace out a loose fitted t-shirt that you have at home. After cutting out the body of the dress from the pink fabric, I realized that one yard wasn't going to be enough to make the turtleneck and the sleeves, so I switched over to the gray fabric and cut out the same size dress. You'll need one front and one back piece. For the turtleneck, I cut out a rectangle piece that was 18 by 20 inches, folded it in half, and sewed down the open side. Then fold the piece in half again so the wrong side is facing each other on the inside. Before sewing it on the shirt, mark the center front and center back with the neckline and turtleneck so you can evenly stretch and sew the turtleneck in place. We have to stretch and sew the turtleneck because it's smaller than the neckline and by doing so, it also helps pull the neckline together so it's not stretched out. I'm sewing with a zigzag stitch so it stretches and a ballpoint needle so it doesn't damage the fabric. So far, we've sewn the shoulder seam and added the turtleneck. Next, we are going to make the sleeves that tie at the waist. Cut a piece of fabric that is about 16 inches wide and by however long you want the sleeves to be. I just left mine long for now and can always trim it later. Fold the piece in half and sew down the open side. Once the pieces are sewn, turn them right sides out and decide how high or low you want it placed at the waist. Make sure the sleeves are on the inside of the dress and then sew the sides of the dress together. Lastly, I decided to finish off the raw edges on the sleeves with a 1 inch band. I measured a long strip of fabric around the sleeve and cut to fit. After sewing the ends of the band together, I folded it in half and sewed it right sides together along the bottom of the sleeve. Here's what the final creation looks like. I went for a very monochromatic look and since my hair is light brown right now, I decided to put on a black wig that is giving me Edna mode and Knives Chow vibes. But hey, it definitely was a lot more satisfying to see all the colors match.
after I finished making the gray colored dress, I decided last minute to finish the pink dress and see what I can make with less fabric, which was a great idea because now I get to show you a different variation in case you don't like turtlenecks. Since a lot of my time is spent in my sewing room, I like to listen to audiobooks while I work and one of my favorite books to read and listen to is called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and It's All Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. Whenever I find myself getting worked up over things that aren't important like not finishing a project on time or someone's mean comment on my video, I open up this book and almost always there's a chapter that relates to whatever I'm going through. If you're into self-help books like me, I strongly recommend checking it out. You can even get it for free on Audible along with a 30-day free trial by clicking the link in my description box or texting COOLERPA to 500-500. And if you have any other suggestions on books to listen to, please leave a comment down below. So for the pink dress, I didn't have enough fabric to make actual sleeves to tie at the waist, so I just made them single layered and left the edges raw. Then I did the same thing as earlier and decided where I wanted the sleeves to be placed at the side and then pinned them in place and sewed down the side seams. To make the t-shirt sleeves, I had a piece of fabric on fold and marked the underarm seam onto the dress. Then I sewed the t-shirt sleeve around the armhole, lining it up with the markings. Next, I sewed the underarm seam and blended it into the side seam. Lastly, I scrapped together a neckband by cutting one and a half inch strips on fold and piecing them together to create a longer strip. Then stretch the neckband and pin it around the neckline. You want to stretch the neckband as you sew so it lays flat and holds the neckline together. After fitting the neckband to the shirt, I sewed the ends of the neckband together and evenly stretched and sewed it around the neckline with a zigzag stitch. Here's the final look modeled by my sister Lily. We styled it with a hat for a sporty street look, some big hoop earrings, and these awesome silver boots from Teleport. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fashion, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!